installment of uh, Carrot websites, okay? Um, everyone wants to know, and no one really understands, right? How many pages should you have? What should you have? And how do I make them, right? So very simply put, you want to have a main page for most people that should be your state page. Your, your state page is usually your biggest converter. Right. So I'm going to do for my example down here, I'm in the Virginia Beach Hampton Roads area, right? <clears throat> so I have a general page for Virginia, right? And then I focus on Hampton Roads. There are seven cities in Hampton Roads and I have a city page for each one of those cities. And that's really all you should have as far as your main pages, right? And what do I mean? We sh you shouldn't have a We Buy Houses Virginia page and then a Sell My House Fast Virginia page and a Sell My House for Cash Virginia page, right? You wanna have one page, right? And then one page for each of your target areas, wherever you're going to target. And the keys to that are that those pages should be unique enough that they don't cannibalize each other. Okay, so how do I make my city or um, local pages? And it's really very simple. Um, when you go into your <clears throat> your carrot site, okay, over here on the left, do not go to locations, okay? That's for something else we'll discuss later, okay? Um, but you don't want to go to locations. It's not what we're looking for. You're going right into your main content and your pages where everything is. And all of this stuff is pre-done for you by carrot this is one of my sites matt buys virginia beach i never really use it so we can make changes on this um, my my main page is academy home buyers and this is just kind of out there i never really used it right so i haven't done much editing on this and we can edit on here so um we buy houses is my front page let's take a quick look at it we'll click on view <clears throat> and see what it is this is basically stock i have a, my own picture in there but the majority of this is stock. My wife and I, my wife Valerie, I've done a little bit of work to it, but um, that's a stock house picture and most of this stuff is all stock. Again, the stock is very good. If you're going to send traffic to it, it's all highly converting, but it's not gonna get you on the search engine optimization uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, one of which is the fact that it's 10,000 people that have these same stock pages, right? So Google is uh, very hard to pick yours out from somebody else's. That's why we um, suggest you edit the pages just like we talked about in video number one. But how do we make a state page? Or I mean, a, a local page. You're gonna go to your main front page, which should be for your state or very big general area. And you're going to very simply duplicate it. Okay, we click duplicate. And now we're into a brand new duplicate page, right? We don't have to worry about anything yet because it's in draft mode. So you can do some work and then you can go back to it and we're not worrying about screwing up your website because it is in draft mode and we're not gonna publish it just yet. Okay, we're gonna come down here. This is not going to be our home page. I'm going to say that I'm going to make this for Virginia Beach, right? I'm going to make another page for Virginia Beach. Virginia. Um, Google likes dashes. Virginia Beach, right? So if we go to the URL, URL slug, this is going to be the, the page. Matt buys Virginia Beach.com slash Virginia Beach. And you know what? Uh, what keyword are we going to focus on? Uh, it should be one of uh, are the main ones, right? There's, so there's five words that we want to try to get into all of our websites, right? Buy, sell, fast, houses, cash, right? Those are big ones, right? So um, we can do we buy houses. That's going to be a very tough one to to um, to rank in. Let's make this page going after say um, sell my house fast. So it's going to be sell my house fast Virginia Beach, right? So our slug now has the keywords that we really want to rank for, sell my house fast Virginia Beach, and that's gonna be our um, 
permalink, right? So <clears throat> now we talked in other videos about how these short codes go back to what you put in your, uh, when you started your account. You can go down here, over here on the right where my mouse is, override market settings, and where market city is, type in what you want. So I'm gonna make this virgin, oh, went a little too far. Boop. Virginia Beach. Beach. That means every time where when the short code here says Market City, it's going to show Virginia Beach when it's published, right? So we want to make this page take some time and make this page about Virginia Beach. It can be 99% the same as your home page, except we want to make sure that Google understands that this page is about Virginia Beach. It's about your market city and not Virginia in general or not your state in general. Okay, so you're going to go through here. Don't, if this is on your front page, if your home page and you've already edited it and made it the way you like it, keep it, right? The, your state pages, your local pages can be the same as your state page in almost every way. Right? except make some changes to make it specific to Virginia Beach or to your local market, okay? And maybe add a paragraph. Go in and add a paragraph about your target city. How do I add a paragraph, Matt? Well, find a spot that you think it might fit, like right over here. Let's just take a look. Hover your mouse and you get a plus sign, right? And you can do this anywhere on your page. And we can add, uh, let's see. I always like to do things in groups. I always like to add groups because groups give you more opportunity to change. So we've created a group. In that group, let's add a paragraph, right? And now we're gonna write something. Let's say, you know, unless my Virginia Beach is a wonderful place to live and raise a family. We have an amazing outdoor lifestyle and you get the idea, right? We're gonna add something that's very specific about your city, right? So not only have we changed the short codes that are now going to make everything about your city. And maybe you've made a change or two here. Maybe you've changed a picture. Find a picture that's about Virginia Beach, right? About your target city, right? And and change the alt text and change um, you know, the, the metadata to show that it's Virginia Beach. Maybe you add a paragraph about your town, in this case, about Virginia Beach and about living in Virginia Beach, about houses in Virginia Beach, the types of houses there are, the, uh, the types of neighborhoods, something about Virginia Beach. This way, Google understands that your page is completely different from your main state page. And now we go down to the bottom here and your metadata and your meta description. We are going to change things up down here. Maybe get rid of the market state. We don't want to have, like let's say in this case here, sell my house fast, Virginia Beach, Virginia. You know what? I don't want to have another Virginia in there and cover it and, and have it um, be confused, you know, uh, with Google on my main page, right? And then down over here, we'll just change this up completely, right? We'll add a whole different meta description so that Google looks at this page and says it has nothing to do with my Virginia page. This is a Virginia beach page. So take a little time, go through, make some changes. You can save draft. You can preview your pages. See, my short codes are in there, Virginia beach. You'll see whatever changes that you made
If you're happy with it, see here's my little half paragraph that I didn't quite finish yet, right? If you're happy with it, you publish it. Okay, you click publish. Then you go back, you hit duplicate, and you do it again for your next city. It's very, very simple. Very, very simple. So, in order to create your local pages, simply duplicate your main page, which should be your state or very, very big um, area page, and then change it up to match your city, your local city or your local area that you're targeting. Change the name of your city in the um, override market settings, add a little paragraph that really delineates that this page is about your city, change up some pictures, add some pictures that are local to your city and change the metadata and the, um, and the SEO data at the bottom of the page and you have a separate city page. You should have probably five to 10 city pages. If you're going for more than that, that's just a lot of extra work. Hopefully you can handle the leads, right? Until next time, have a great day. You have any questions at all, put them down below. I try to answer everybody. Give everybody the help that I can. All right, have a good one.